Hey, what's up guys? So there is a new feature that's gonna be coming to the Uniden R1 and R3. Uh, if you take a look here, I'm currently running a uh, beta firmware, beta version 1.31, and it's gonna bring a couple of different features, but the main one that I wanna show you is band segmentation on KA band. Check this out. So we've got a couple different options now for KA band sweeps. KA narrow. KA narrow like before. KA wide. KA wide to sweep the whole thing and KA segmentation. KA segmentation. This is true band segmentation where it's adjusting what it's sweeping and what it's not. Uh, and if we start running through the different options, we've got 10 different segments. You'll see it's got, uh, we'll just flip through them real quick so you can see. Segment two. Here's segment five. I've got mine set up to sweep uh, 258. Then there's eight and all the way to number 10. And if you take a look, one thing that I really like is it actually displays what frequencies each individual segment sweeps for, which is really nice. I haven't seen that before. Um, so for those of you guys who want complete control over what your detector is scanning for, uh, if you want, you know, maybe KA narrow wasn't exactly what you wanted and you want to customize it even further, maybe turn on KA segment six, for example. KA six on. If you got those, uh, you know, stalkers, like for those of you guys in New York who encounter the stalkers who sweep uh, or who uh, transmit a little high, K86 off. you now have the options. And so this is really cool. Um, for those of you guys not familiar with the benefits of band segmentation, I've got an article on my website you can check out, uh, link in the video description or the button on screen. Now, um, as far as this feature, uh, it's going to be coming out in a bit. We've got to beta test it and figure out, you know, the impacts to performance and whatnot. Um, with some of the older detectors, like the uh, the Redline series detectors, band segmentation made a huge impact to performance because uh, when this guy sweeps the entire range of KA frequencies, it's really slow. Um, but band segmentation speeds it up dramatically. Uh, with this guy, I don't expect it to actually be that big of a difference because, well, even at KA wide, it's already really, really fast, unlike some of the... Uh, you know, the older gen detectors like that. So I don't expect it to make a huge impact to performance, but uh, initial testing is actually showing some improvements to performance above and beyond what we've already had with this detector. So uh, it's really cool to see Uniden actually bringing this feature out to us. Uh, big, big props to them for bringing us the feature that we wanted and designing it in such a way where it's adjusting what frequencies the detector actually sweeps and not just always scanning the whole thing and choosing, you know, what it alerts to or not. So that way we actually have a, a nice impact of performance. So anyway, uh, just a quick preview as far as a new feature that's going to be coming here uh, to the R1 and the R3. I don't know exactly when. We've got to, of course, beta test it, make sure it works well, uh, all that kind of stuff before it gets released publicly. But just wanted to show you guys uh, a quick preview of things to come. So awesome. There we go.